okay so in this video tutorial we are going to install the Apache server on this VM so first we need to get sudo apt-get update which command just update my repositories information metadata once this done the next thing we need to do is to run in a command to install the Apache the command is very simple that's a sudo apt-get install Apache 2 so let's do that so uh, oh, so I'm going to type sudo apt-get installed Apache 2 and just press yes I accept this it's going to install all the required files and dependencies files just hit ok here hit enter just leave it as default click ok and our Apache server is installed now let's just check the version of our Apache server so sudo apache2 dash v and here you can see that we have installed the apache version 2.4 okay so now let's install the php on this machines so before installing the php i'm going to update my repository metadata and also update this machine so the command is very simple sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade oh we get an invalid operation upgrade oh I've, i just by mistake uh, mistyped this upgrade so let's rectify this and run this command once again so just correct this and here we go so press yes for continue or type y on from your keyboard and just wait for a while it is installing uh, it is updating our all metadata information of repositories and as well as upgrade my system okay just accept this dialog box and accept all this or leave this as a default and hit enter and now we just need to reboot this system again it will just take a few minutes to come back so here my system is again on live so now I'm going to install the PHP so the command is sudo apt-get installed software properties common apt transport dash http s dash y so for installing the php from and um, repositories first we need to run this command and the second command we need to okay so here we have mistype transport so I forget to add the R 
now I made the corrections now it is going to install this so it has installed this software property common app transfer HTTPS now we need to run the second command sudo add apt dash repository ppa common on bridge by forward slash php dash y so this command is going to install the repository in my system okay now was this done the next command we need to install this oh, we, sorry we need to run this sudo apt-get installed php 8.1 so this is the latest version running php and the other command is live apache2 dash mode dash php so this is a module for apache 8.1 press yes it's take a while just a few seconds to install this application okay this is done now let's check now let's first restart our Apache 2 and then we need to run the second command to check that status of our Apache so as you can okay so now we have set everything so to run the Apache on Oracle uh, cloud especially for Ubuntu 22.04 or any Ubuntu machine after setting everything you have to run these two commands so basically you need to allow this is an extra security layer um, on the UN2 servers so you have to allow the port number 80 from the IP table right so just add this command and you can you need to also allow the port 443 from this uh, from IP table and the last thing that you have to save this persistently right so please remember you need to run this two or you need to allow this two port from the IP table otherwise this will not work so now we have allowed this port through the IP tables and everything is configured okay one more thing I need to mention you um, that's a very important thing is that if you go to the network security group in the last tutorial I have shown you how you create a network security group but I made a one mistake that's you need to check this stateless option okay so when you add the command so you have to click this stateless so what is the stateless is basically allow all the incoming packets response back to the original source of the packet right? so it's make it bi-directional traffic right okay so now everything is set now let's just check that about apaches work or not so let me copy my IP address paste and go boom my apache is working perfectly okay the last thing now we need to check that our PHP is working or not so I have just exported this command 
in a file under www.var www.httml directory there I create a file info.php and I within that file I type this one right so now let's check that our PHP is working or not so um, so just type our server IP address and then we need to type info.php perfect so now our PHP is also working okay so I hope you like this tutorial also so this is the second part where we see how we can install the Apache and PHP on an Ubuntu server virtual machine created in Oracle Cloud right so in the next tutorial i will show you how we can create the database on oracle cloud till then please stay tuned and please give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much